Let's talk about the HD24. It uses this removable hard drive. So if there is a hard drive in there, you can select it and you'll know it's active over the green. If you select it and it says selecting that hard drive and if I hit that if I hit that button again, it'll say do you want to dismount and I will hit yes. It'll go through this and then if you need to for some reason, you can now pull out this hard drive. If I want to use that hard drive, I will push it in, make sure it's all the way in. Then I will hit the drive button. We'll see it going through the status. And now I'm using that hard drive. Record enable buttons are right over the track name. So if I want to record on track 8, I can see that it's lit with the red blinking. Let's talk about a couple things. You want to be in auto input. You want to be in auto input and that is selected right there. So when I hit play, I'll be hearing playback. When I hit record, I'll be here recording. Let's make a new song though. So let's do that. So let's hit the new song button. Do you create a new song? You use the up and down arrows. I'm going to hit yes. Sample rate 44.1. That's good. Then I'll hit new song, number of tracks. Sure. And there's my new song. So I can give it a name by hitting the name and calling it something else and I'll just go through it real quickly and give it a new name that I know that that's my name. Okay, now I'm going to enable, record and enable my track. I have rewind, fast forward, stop, play, record. Notice if you hit record, nothing happens. You have to hit record and play at the same time for something to happen. Notice it's now recording. Took a second. When I hit stop, now I'm six seconds into it. If I hit locate zero, which is that button right there, it'll go back to the beginning of the song. And if I want to redo it again, chord, play, it's now, they're both going. That is now solid, not blinking, and I know I'm recording that way too, and now I'm recording some more. There are some locate points. You have locate zero will take you back to the beginning of the song, but if you hit set locate one, now I can go to that point in the song. So I'm gonna hit stop, if I hit locate zero, it'll take me back to zero. If I hit locate one, it'll take me where I set that locate point. Notice that when I hit play, notice now I have blinking red. I'm listen I would be listening back to what's going on. If I want to punch in on that track, hit record, hold it, and they're both now lit, and now I'm recording on that track and going over that. Other things you want to make sure this is set up. Input select is set to analog, not digital. Monitor will be auto input, clock source is internal, sample rate 44.1. So you want to make sure that's all set correctly. If I want to scroll through the songs, I can hit song select and I can scroll through all the different songs here. And I can go to the one, there's the one I'm working on, that's the song I've selected. And then if I go over here and I can then lock it by hitting the arrow key, hitting, and now no one can accidentally delete it.